Yeah, I think this is the type of day where if you don't have to be outside, I would avoid it. We have that high wind warning and a wind advisory. We're likely going to see gusts exceeding 50 miles per hour. So if you haven't already, now is the time to secure any loose outdoor items that you have in your front or backyard. This is the type of day where we could see those trampolines flying Saturday, midday and afternoon evening. We're going to see that all throughout the day today. And as a result, we could see some really gusty crosswinds along their highways, uh, blowing dust as well, and some broken tree limbs, all very possible throughout the rest of today. We're already seeing those winds picking up a bit. We haven't even seen the advisories in place yet, but we're watching those gusts up to 25 miles per hour right now. Later on this afternoon, we're going to see that become much more extreme. You'll see that closer to 35 to 40 miles per hour for some sustained winds as we work towards the afternoon. Red Rock Canyon going to see some extreme winds as well, right around 65 miles per hour. Then as we move into Sunday morning, still going to be a breezy day. We're not going to see that as extreme as what we expect to see today. But overall, we have a pretty breezy weekend ahead of us. Here's a look at the system that is bringing some of those winds on. You can see it is bringing some snow and some rain to areas of Utah and northern Nevada. Right now we are starting out very clear. But as we put those future cast models in play, you can see we do have a 10 or 20 to 30% chance of seeing some of those storms make their way into our region by tonight into tomorrow. So most more likely for our local mountains before that storm continues east, leaving us with more sunshine by Sunday afternoon. All right, taking a look at your temperatures to start out your day. We're in the low 70s and upper 60s. Not too bad for your Saturday morning if you don't mind the breeze right now. Highs today landing in the low 80s. Summerlin and Centennial Hills likely struggling to get out of the upper 70s today and low 80s for Anthem. So planning out the afternoon, you're dealing with those sustained winds, the partly cloudy skies moving in later this afternoon. Overall, it's a great day to head indoors. So we're going to see more cloud cover tonight, falling back into the 60s overnight by around 9 o'clock. Wow, what a change for our temperatures tomorrow. 66 degrees, that's brought on by the wind, and we do have that 30% rain chance for the early morning hours with a bit of a breeze. So the wind bringing in a significant cool down will stay in the 60s through Sunday and Monday, but then a little bit of a warming trend bringing us back into the mid-70s by midweek. Rachel.